This is Cameron Chai from Azom, bringing you another episode of Azom.com TV. And today I'm here with Jining Zhi from Agile and Technologies, and he's going to tell us about their new 8500 FESEM system. Hello, um, my name is Jini. Uh, I'm an application scientist uh, from Agilent, and uh, this is our new um, Agilent um, 8500 FESEM. This is the first um, market available um, compact uh, field emission SEM on the market. And then you can see this, uh, this is the dimension, very compact um, size. And uh, also, um, we have the uh, very unique technologies, uh, which is include uh, um, very um, um, fabrication, MEMS fabrication, fabricate uh, all electrostatic uh, lens. Uh, here is the whole electro <coughs> uh, beam lens. And with the uh, tips on the source on the top of the uh, electron beam column and also on the back, back side is the, um, uh, ele the aperture where um, the electron beam coming from. Um, on this, sitting in this uh, cutoff is the um, detector. So this is the whole electron source, electron beam column and also the detector. Um, <coughs> other than the um, uh, Compact dimension, our SEM has a high performance, uh, which can do uh, achieve a sub 10 nanometer resolution. So uh, that's the uniqueness of our uh, SEM. Uh, another beauty of SEM is um, um, we can achieve the low voltage uh, operation, uh, especially from uh, 500 watts to 2,000 watts. At this low voltage, um, usually um, the lens aberration is huge. But by miniaturize our all electrostatic lens, we can minimize the lens aberration and also achieve the um, very high resolution at the low voltage. Um, there are a couple of uh, reasons why we like to have the low voltage uh, imaging. First of all, there's less damage on the energy sensitive samples. For example, the polymers or some bio samples. Um, low beam voltage means uh, less energy. So. Uh, no much charging and also the no much uh, energy uh, beam damage on the sample. So that's the reason um, we are shooting for high performance uh, as field emission SEM at low voltage. There's a, a lot of uh, applications for using our low voltage SEMs. So we're very glad to bring this um, unique um, compact field emission SEM to the market. Yeah, hopefully everybody likes it. Right, and how big is the sample chamber? How big a samples can you look at in this system? Yeah, uh, actually um, our sample holder can hold up to 60 millimeter by 100 millimeter size. And the height is about 30 millimeter. Let me uh, stop it. <coughs> so here is the um, sample chamber. Open the door. This is the sample holder. So this is the area you can load your sample. So it's up to you. You can, you can load multiple samples in, a, in the one batch or just load the big samples in one batch. Uh, and also in our so software, you can, um, we have the predefined location. So easily to move to the locations which you already um, programmed. So of, of course you can set up your, your own position as well. So here is the sample chamber. There you can see the uh, stage there. It can move X, Y, and Z direction. So that's it. And working at the, the low voltage, does that also make it better for non-conducting samples? Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Actually, um, for um, SEM, the high, K, <coughs> high voltage beam usually can generate a lot of charging for non-conducting samples. Mm. So our low voltage definitely will minimize the charging issue. And also, we have the backscattered electron imaging function, so that can also help to minimize the charging. That's okay. All right, and if anybody wants any more information on the 8500 FESEM, they can go to your website? Yes, no problem. It's on the website, yeah. and uh, you're welcome to ask any questions. Okay, and what's your web address? Um, so you can go to the Agilent website, and uh, we are the Nanotechnology Management Group. Go to there, you can find um, FESEM, you will see our website. All right, Jining, thank you very much for telling us about the 8500 yeah. FESEM. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.